what if Germany went monarchist after World War I? In our own timeline after World War I the German monarchy was overthrown and the Weimar Republic was established. However during this period monarchism was still high in Germany, but it was the Nazis who would end up taking over the nation. But what if that didn't happen? What if Germany went monarchist after World War I? In this timeline the German National People's Party commonly known as the DNVP win the May 1924 German federal election. In our own timeline they were just 1% behind the Social Democratic Party of Germany commonly known as the SPD. And in the next election in December 1924 they even get more seats. In 1925 Paul von Hindenburg of the DNVP DVP BVP alliance still wins the presidential election of 1925 and becomes Reichsverseidant. Paul von Hindenburg was a monarchist and now monarchists are the biggest party in the legislative body, the Reichstag, and are also the head of government. The monarchist DNVP under Kuno von Westarp, national liberal, but also monarchist German People's Party, commonly known as DVP under Gustav Stresemann, and the Reichsverseidant overthrown the government. A new constitution is made. The Reichskanzler Paul von Hindenburg holds most executive power while the Emperor Wilhelm II is mostly ceremonial. The Reichstag and title of Reichsverseidant are dissolved. Germany would start its militarization ever since 1925 or 1926, but wouldn't spend money time and effort into killing Jews. An alliance with Italy in this timeline is unlikely as the only reason Germany and Italy became allies is that they are fascist. In 1934 a civil war in Austria starts that lasted for four days in our own timeline and the German Empire uses it as an excuse to invade Austria and Anschluss Austria. Otto von Habsburg Lorraine would be crowned Otto I of the Archduchy of Austria. This increases tensions with the United Kingdom, France, and even Italy who formed the new Entente to deter German aggression. In 1934 Paul von Hindenburg dies and Erich von Ludendorff becomes Reichskanzler of the German Empire. In 1935 the Sauerland was supposed to hold a referendum to either stay a League of Nations mandate, join France or join Germany. France decided to boycott this referendum and occupies it. This causes tensions to rise and on August 3, 1935 Germany invades Belgium starting the Second World War. France and the United Kingdom declare war on Germany, but the French fries got encircled in Calais while the British flee in Dunkirk. Germany occupies Paris and France collapses except for a small territory east of the Rhone River thanks to Italy. After that Germany launches a massive offensive into Venetia and South Tyrol. The Italians overthrow Mussolini and switch sides. Soon later Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain sues for peace ending the war. In the Treaty of Versailles Germany annexes the Sauerland, Alsace-Lorraine, lands east of the mosel rivie luxembourg Belgian Luxembourg. The rest of Belgium becomes a German vassal state led by Duke Charles Edward of the House of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha as Leopold IV. Belgium also gets lands north of the Moss River and Calais. The Kingdom of Italy loses South Tyrol to Germany and Istria to Yugoslavia who joined towards the end of the war, but gained Corsica, Savoy, Nice, Tunisia, Djibouti and Somaliland. Meanwhile Germany got back its colonies and also took Dahomey, Upper Volta, Congo, Gabon and Ubangi Shari while Morocco was given to Spain. Mainland France was divided between the Kingdom of France in the northwest led by Henri VI of the House of Orleans, the Kingdom of Occitania in the south led by Louis XX of the House of Grimaldi, and Kingdom of Burgundy in the northeast led by Eugen, I of the House of Habsburg Lorraine. The French government is in exile in Africa where it would collapse because of independence movements. The Second Sino-Japanese War still happens, but since the West isn't at war with Germany Japan makes peace in 1942 and thanks to the Americans they lost most of their gains and only got Hubei and Shandong. But they did keep Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos from France. The Chinese Civil War would still happen, but the Communists would lose and their territories would be carved by the Kuomintang and Shanxi clique. In 1937 Erich von Ludendorff dies and Alfred Hugenberg becomes Chancellor of Germany. However the Emperor took back some of his authority. Furthermore the Empire would start to liberalism. Nonetheless Germany is now the master of Europe having more or less control over Italy and France. 
In 1936 the Spanish Civil War still happens, and the Nationalists win with German help, but instead of Francisco Franco the head of state of Spain is Francisco Javier I. Germany, Italy, Burgundy, France, Occitania and Spain form the Reichsbacht which is an absolutist alliance in Western Europe. Germany and Hungary would together go to war against Romania, Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia as now their greatest ally France is gone. Later Bulgaria and Italy also joins on the side of Hungary and invade Greece and Albania. Hungary takes back all lands they held before the Treaty of Trieno. Bulgaria annexes Macedonia, Thrace and Dobruja. Italy annexes Dalmatia, Southern Bosnia, Montenegro, Albania and Greece. The rest of Yugoslavia, Romania and Greece are puppeted by Germany. Romania is led by the son of Carol II Michael I, and Serbia is led by Evil Frederick son of Wilhelm II as Achtel Frigary I. After the war Hungary becomes a monarchy under Joseph August as Jos Agus I of the House of Habsburg will reign. In 1941 Wilhelm II dies, and Wilhelm III becomes emperor. During this time the USSR expanded into the Baltics, parts of Finland and Bessarabia. In 1956 a conflict between the USSR and Poland breaks out, and this causes a war against Germany leading to the actual Second World War. The Soviet advance was stopped at the Vistula River, but the United Kingdom joined on their side. They were ready to sacrifice Eastern Europe to communism in order to liberate Western Europe. Fearing that UK would invade from Iberia Spain quickly took over Gibraltar and neutral Portugal. Meanwhile Greek and Yugoslav resistance massively increases with the Yugoslavs being led by Joseph Bras Tito. The Japanese Navy bombs Pearl Harbor and invades the Dutch East Indies and British Raj causing both of them to declare war on them and Germany to invade the Netherlands. Around the same time, the Imperial Japanese Army invaded the USSR from the east. Germany would slowly push into the Soviet Union from the east. Meanwhile Germany overthrew the Polish government and annexed its former territories. The rest becomes a kingdom led by Frederick Christian, King of Saxony, as Friedrich Christian I. Germany would push to Moscow, but without success. After that they attack the Caucasus, but they wouldn't focus on Volgograd, and so they encircle the Russians and get their oil. The next year they take Moscow, and the Soviet Union collapses. And one while as Japan pushes into Bengal and Assam, India rises up in rebellion and the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere capture India. It was at this point that Japan launches the Third Sino-Japanese War. Persia, Afghanistan, Jordan, the war and Saudi Arabia also join the war and invade British holdings in Arabia, Israel and Iraq. The holdings in Africa from both Germany and the United Kingdom collapse due to independence movements. By now the war is frozen, and two peace conferences are held in Paris for Europe, the Middle East and Africa and in Singapore for East Asia, Southeast Asia, the Indian subcontinent, Oceania, and the Pacific. Germany puppets the Hethmanate of Ukraine led by Boris Skoropadsky, Kingdom of Belarus led by Lou Stefan of the House of Habsburg Lorraine, the Kingdom of Lithuania led by Vitatis II, and the Kingdom of Finland led by Prince Wolfgang of Hesse. Furthermore they annex modern-day Estonia and Latvia as the Grand Duchy of Livonia led by Duke Adolf Frederick of Mecklenburg. Germany also puppets the Kingdom of the Caucasus led by Irakli I of the House of Bagration. The rest of European Russian is the Grand Duchy of Moscovy led by Grand Duke Vladimir Kirillovich of Russia as Vladimir III. Manchukuo annexes Outer Manchuria. Central Asia becomes the Khanate of Turkestan led by Osman Fraud of the House of Osmanoglu while the Siberian Republic is led by Konstantin Rodzivsky and Japan annexes North Sakhalin. Turkestan gets Xinjiang. Mengjiang gets Mongolia, Tanatuva, Suwin and Ningxia while Tibet gets Qinghai. The rest of China goes to the reorganized national government of the Republic of China. Jordan annexes Iraq and reforms the Arab Federation and also annexes Kuwait. Palestine gets Israel, Yemen annexes Aden, Saudi Arabia annexes Qatar, Bahrain and Trucial states, while Oman becomes independent. Iran annexes the Southern Caucasus. Both Germany and UK had to give up their claims in Africa, but South Africa did manage to get German Southwest Africa. Thailand annexes Northern Malaya, and parts of the Shan state. The rest of Malaysia, Burma, Indonesia, and India are puppeted by Japan. 
After the war a three-way Cold War starts between NATO, the Reichsbacht and Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. In the 1970s China, India and Indonesia rebel against Japanese rule in Germany, and the US are quick to exploit it. The US support the rebels and Australia occupies the island of New Guinea, while Germany invades from the north through Siberia. Japan lost all of its overseas territories after the war and is recruited to its five main islands. After the chaos India, China, Indonesia, and the Philippines create CETO with Australia and the US. Siberia becomes a kingdom led by Louis Ferdinand, brother of Wilhelm IV. Mongolia, King China, Korea, Japan, Iran, Turkestan, Thailand, Vietnam and Malaysia join the Reichsbacht. The second phase of the Cold War would begin with Germany and the United States as the two great powers. The Cold War is likely not over with absolute states in mainland Europe, the Arab world and parts of Asia while democracies endure in the New World, British Isles and in India, China and the Pacific Islands. If a third world war would happen the free world would likely lose in the mainland in India and China, but would endure in the seas. It could also go nuclear meaning nobody would win. Nowadays Germany is the most powerful nation besides the United States and absolutism would return through this one change in the timeline. If you liked the episode, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.